Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Alan W Entertainment Show. Also, some of you may know me as Patat the Strong on Twitch. So, I'm making this、uh, video today to talk about、uh, my film review on a film that I watched last night.、Um, as a directable debut by、um, singer called Saya, and it's her film Music. So.、Um, Anyways, and it's, it's caused like a massive、uh, controversy for a couple of months. So the film music is all about、um, there's a, a, a bright little young girl called、um, Music who has、um, autism, and、um, and it shows like her daily life、uh, living with autism. But、um, the the reason why the film has caused much,、uh, so much controversy is、uh, two reasons.、Uh, one,、um, Saya did not portray、um, the autistic traits correctly in the film, how she directed it and how she wrote the character, and they've got、um, like some of the、uh, autistic facts wrong, and also.、Um, Second reason is some people have kicked off that they、um, hired a a non autistic、um, actress and、um, not to play an autistic character. So、uh, I'm just going to go through the film myself and I'll, and I'll give you、uh, my opinion of the film that I watched last night. So the reason why I'm making、uh, this film review myself because I am autistic as well. I am. Uh, ASD, but I am not at the spectrum level of the music ca- of the music character that sh-、uh, she has, because on on the autistic spectrum, it's it's like a long line, and it's、um, you never meet、uh, the same autistic person,、uh, the same autistic person with the same traits. You know, they're always different、um, on the spectrum. So one can be low and one could be high. One could be in the middle. So, so that's the one reason. So, so I'm like in the low section. So I have like more vocal capability. I'm more independent. While as music,、um, she's not quite there. So this is why I'm making my review. So,、um, so always again the synopsis of the film. So like I say, it's about a a girl called Music with autism, but、um, but it it tends to more focus. On her sister、uh, Zuzi, who is played by、uh, Kate Hudson, and、uh, and it just follow like her struggle trying to、um, look after music and her struggle with trying to sober from alcoholism and and she's also doing drugs, but she's trying to like look after music as well and she's having a help、uh, from her friends and also some music friends from the community as well. So what can I say about the film? I thought the full. I think that I thought the film was very poor and very poorly、uh, executed.、Um, the plot was just all over the place, and the character development was also over the place. Some character development was bad, and some of the character developments was good.、Um, But we'll start off with the with the main character、um, with music.、Um, my problem with the, the film was、um, it, the film is called music, but it's not really her story; it's her sister's story. So what what's the point of having her in the film? Like it's not based on her. You don't. There's no character background build on music. There's no character development. And she's not even the main centre of attention. She's just like she's just there, like she's just there. It's like like and there's nothing about her. And then she's hardly ever talked to the,、um, and stuff like that. So、um, the actress who played was I think it was called Madison.、Um, she、um, used she used to be on the TV reality show、uh, Dance Moms, and she was cast to、uh, play as music. Uh, don't get me wrong; she her dance choreography was really good in the film, but how she acted,、um, playing autistic character for me it was fifty、uh, fifty.、Uh, for me, it was like fifty fifty. She got some autistic traits right and some autistic traits wrong.、Um, 
The good side is like um, making some humming noises, and when um, some autistic people have a sensory overload, some do tend to hit themselves and stuff like that. That is kind of it is true, but the one f part that um, I thought it was extremely bad, and it's uh, the part was controversy, is uh, when music was having a sensory overload. Um, you know, her stimulus and, and like and overwhelming. Um, um, Kate Hudson's character and her friend uh, used uh, restraining to calm her down. Which, when I saw it, was such a, a big no. Like you do not do that to autistic people, and it's a hundred percent wrong. And and it has shown in the news and factual that some autistic people, um, actually loads of autistic people, have died due to uh, restraining and other people have accidentally died as well trying to restrain an autistic person so uh, putting that in the film was just a massive no it was you know if somebody if I had a sensory overload and somebody trying to restrain me I would tell them to get the hell off because with autistic people we like our own personal spaces and we uh, sometimes we don't like being hooked Heart or anything like that. So having someone on top of you like that, so I was like, calm down. It's it's not going to help. You're just going to make that person feel worse and make them more nervous and more worried. So um, so I just thought that was a massive no. And I found out for piece of information, um, Saya was meant to put a warning at the beginning of the film about oh some of the traits uh, uh, that music has does not um, represent. Um, Mute, uh, autistic people in real life and also she was meant to remove the scenes of um, restraining um, music but um, Saya uh, straight up lied and um, none of the restraining scenes was removed it is all there in the film and uh, there was no warning or anything so that was just like the massive controversy that it, it did was it showed a wrongful way because like now because thanks to music uh, if like some people watching don't understand autism or anything like that they think and and they see an autist by having a sensory overload and they're restraining all that they're somewhat going to think oh that's what you must do you must restrain them and you know strangers might do that or anything like that which it could possibly bring more harm to the to autistic people could be more harm to themselves you know so it's showing completely wrong information and I am dead on confused how this film has been nominated for two Golden Globes is is, is, a sh is shocking. So, um, but the other controversy apparently the film also brings was um, the Sire um, casted a non-autistic actress to play an autistic character. Uh, for me, in my point of view, I'm okay with this. Um, I and I'm okay with that because um, Dustin Hoffman played play Rain Man was really good. Um, Sakona Weaver uh, actually played two autistic characters. She played uh, Diane Fossey in uh, The Gorilla's Mist. Diane Fossey is rumored to be autistic, and she also played an autistic character in a film called Snow Cake. Uh, which I recommend is a really good film. It's got um, Scorna Weaver, Alan Rickman, and Carrie Ann Moss. It's a really good film. Also, uh, I, I I like the, uh, the the child actor who played the autistic character in Mercury Rising as well. So I'm actually okay with non-autistic characters um, playing autistic characters, but as long but it's as long as it's done correctly and as long as the person has done their information to act that out but here's the thing Saya did try to um cast an autistic character uh, an autistic actress sorry uh like she did but that person had just had too much warm anxiety which can happen so that's why she hired the uh the dance mom um actress instead but um but another problem that I had with the film was, like I said, um, it focused way too much on Kate Hudson's character, and she was just a very unlikable character. 
Um, how am I supposed to like someone who's like is, is dealing drugs and just cares about herself and was just about to put um, about to send um, music away with complete strangers? Um, you know how is she meant to be a likable character? And also, uh, there was an Asian character who was into you know had a big friendly relationship with music, but they never had eye to eye or never talked to each other. You know, you're meant to think there was meant to be a relationship between them two because you can tell he was into her, but um, there was no character development with that character. Um, and, I, and I couldn't even work out was that Asian person was meant to be autistic or not. But there's a part, spoilers, if you want to um, skip a certain part, um, the father um, hits the um, his son and, he, and his head splits open um, but then it just ends and you have like no idea what happened to that character. You don't know where the character died or that the character was okay and you don't know whether the father got hey, excuse me, uh, the father got uh, punishment for it. So so the plot was just all over the place and the characters were just bad. The only character I did like was, was Kate Hudson's character's friend who was helping her with me. I think he was the only best character. And probably the most likable. So, um, so would I recommend this film to people? And I say a hundred percent no. I probably uh, advise people to stay away from the film music. Um, if you are an, an autistic person, you probably might hate this because there are like bright lights involved, quick change it, and also it's showing. Uh, showing untruthful um, facts, uh, it's like the resist, uh, like the re the restraining, which is like you should never ever do to an autistic person. So, uh, so I definitely stay away from that film. I uh, stay away from music. So I can understand um, why uh, the, the autistic community had kicked off because I was I, I was was looking to the whole uh, controversy and building it, but. Uh, with me with films, I will judge a film um, after watching it, not before it. But I did see like, the trailer thing. Okay, I can see little problems, but I'm still going to give it a try. So I did give it a try last night, and I just didn't like it. I thought the film was just boring, and and how they portray music you know, wasn't um, correct. But uh, a bit positive of the film, I thought the, the dance score, Choreography was really good. Um, I did. I did like the dance choreography. It was really good. Um, but that's about it, really. It was just the dancing choreography. Yeah. So, um, so in the end, I gave this film. Uh, I'll probably. I said five out of ten to myself last night, but probably now more thinking about it and now what Saya has done I'll probably definitely give this a two out of a two out of ten it's an absolute terrible uh, terrible film and and I don't understand how the Golden Globes has given it two nominations which is completely uh, wrong and it doesn't even shed light on on autism but uh, am I? Was I? But probably a question in yourselves: Was I offended uh, watching the film? And uh, the answer to that is no. I wasn't offended. I was like open-minded uh, and trying to you know see so give the film a chance. But watching it uh, did not offend me. But it did um, maybe like a bit angry like how they've done it. You know how they portrayed it. It was just completely, and I think Sai um, should um, be should be apologising better and should have done research a bit more better because uh, it's she's put definitely the wrong light of it. So Sai, uh, you should be uh, disappointed and a bit ashamed of yourself for making this this film because um, you. The, 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 the actress who did play music did, like, research, and that's why I am fine with that. She did do her research on how to play music and stuff like that, which I'm okay. As long as they've done the research, the actress or the actor themselves done the research, I'm okay with that. But as long as it's done right. But um, I'm not, in no way, um, 
holding anything against the actress who plays music because uh, she's an actress and she had to go with what Saya tells her and she had to go with what the directional and how her character is scripted so in no way um, it's her, not her fault and, and I don't think she deserves any hate or deserves any um, criticism. I think really it's all Saya that deserves all the criticism of uh, of the uh, of the film music so she deserves all the bad criticism and I've seen like uh, the critics has also on the autism community side as well if you look at Rotten Tomatoes they've given it an 8% uh, IDBM gave it 3.1 stars um, I saw on Amazon it got only got 3 stars but out of I think 46 reviews um, and Metascore I think I think I saw it gave it a 23 so at least uh, the the views are at least the reviews are extremely low and negative. So, but if this was the other way round, the critics was praising the film, and I think that would have been a huge problem. But since the critics and the reviewers are on totally on the autistic community side and agreeing that the the story is all over the place, the character development is all over the place. Um. So. So the, how the film could have been better was, in my opinion, I think they should have focused more on music and could have focused more on her past instead of like focusing just on Kate Hudson's character because she was just a very unlikable character. But Kate Hudson did nothing wrong in the film as well and she's a really good actress myself and I, she did play the part well, but I think it, it just side just gave her a very unlikable character, you know, with very unlikable traits that you would not like in a character. So yeah, so um, yeah, so I think that is uh, so far my review. So we got so it's a bad film. Don't watch it. Stay away with it. Do not give this film the the hype or anything because I'm. This is, of course, my only um, video on this. I just want to express my uh, opinion, but just remember, I am not offended by this. I'm just more um, disappointed and angry that how this film was made, really. But um, but there are like some good um, autism films out there and some documentaries, so you should be watching them but uh like i said in the review definitely gives snow cake uh a good watch because that is a really good film and sakona weaver does play an autistic character very good and i was recommended by uh, a ta at my high school to watch that film so um so definitely um so from the film don't learn anything from it um Please, in public, do not do any restraining because that is not what you do or anything like that. So, like I said, I gave this as I'm going to give the whole film 2 out of 10. And, Saya, you should be ashamed and, dis and disappointing. So, yeah, so this has been the LNW Entertainment Show. Uh, thank you all for listening. Um, stay awesome, and I'll see you all next time.